Emissions of greenhouse gases such as CO2 are responsible for global warming, which leads to the climate changes we have witnessed in recent years. Climate changes threaten the environment, flora and fauna, and increasingly also mankind. The Paris Agreement from 2015, which is ratified by 196 nations, sets targets to mitigate global warming. MAN Energy Solutions is actively contributing to the fulfillment of these targets through its outstanding decarbonization energy storage solutions. To reduce CO2 emissions and move away from centralized energy generation based on fossil fuels, many countries are mandating investments in renewable energy systems such as wind power and solar power. In countries that already have a good proportion of wind and solar power, the grid operators are increasingly struggling with fluctuations on their networks and face ever more difficulties in balancing supply and demand when weather conditions are favorable. The many renewable projects currently being planned and executed will accentuate this problem further still in the coming years. Questionable current measures such as negative prices or constraint payments are in place to balance the power supply and demand in order to avoid overload on the grid and prevent potential damage or ultimately blackouts. This dissipation of money and the wasted production of valuable green power must stop now. There is a better way to transform excess green electricity, either by converting it directly into heat and cold and storing it, or by means of power storage for later use, when renewable energy production cannot reach the demand, typically by peak time. We must make it our common goal to store thermal energy for better energy management to handle shortages and peaks. In order to reduce CO2 emissions for the long term, the various stakeholders in the energy market must work together. Energy suppliers, power grid and renewable energy operators, public services and authorities, as well as the consumers, cities and industries must coordinate better at the local and regional level. Sector coupling and segment integration is the answer. MAN's Tri-Generation Energy Management System, ETES, is technically advanced and has the potential to play a central role in sector coupling. ETES stands for Electrothermal Energy Storage. ETES is carbon neutral and highly sustainable, making it environmentally friendly. The system is capable of supplying large amounts of heat and cold. It can also store this thermal energy between several hours and days for later use or re-electrification. ETES responds very quickly and effectively to power fluctuations on the grid caused by overproduction of renewables and can perform as primary ancillary service in grid frequency control. The system helps balance the grid by absorbing vast amounts of surplus electricity and converts it into thermal energy. Central to ETES is an industrial scale high temperature heat pump that uses CO2 as a process medium. The solution supports processes with inconsistent heat or cold demand or 24-7 operation. ETES is also a great economic tool on the day ahead energy market. The excess of thermal energy produced at low electricity tariffs can be stored temporarily for later use. With thermal supply of up to 50 megawatts of heat plus 30 megawatts of cold and temperature levels ranging from below 0 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius and above. ETES sets new heat pump standards, also in terms of scalability and operational flexibility. Still not enough? The previously stored thermal energy can be converted back into electricity, which is fed into the grid at a high electricity tariff or to shave peak power demands. In this case, ETES is acting as a Carnot battery, a sustainable long-duration electricity storage LDES system. MAN's ETES basic configuration is an electrical heat pump that uses CO2 as a process medium. The largest heat pump configuration generates a thermal output of up to 50 megawatts of heat and 30 megawatts of cold at temperatures ranging from below 0 degrees to 150 degrees Celsius or above. The system is very flexible and adaptive in terms of thermal output and supply temperatures. ETES takes full advantage of the non-toxic natural gas CO2 which is brought into different states during the heat pump cycle, from gas to supercritical to liquid and back to gas. Within the charging cycle, the CO2 is compressed by MAN's industrial centrifugal compressor, Hoffem, resulting in unmatched high temperatures. 
The Hoffman compressor is also widely used in the oil and gas industry to meet the highest availability and safety standards. The Hotham is 50% more compact than conventional compressors, is hermetically sealed, and runs on magnetic bearings, meaning it does not need any lubrication. Three compressor frame sizes are available to meet customer demands. Coming back to the charging cycle, the hot CO2 transfers its heat to water by passing through a compact, high-pressure heat exchanger. The hot water can now be supplied directly to the consumer. When leaving the heat exchanger, the CO2 expands over a turbo expander and returns from a supercritical to a liquid state. Utilizing a high-speed turbine in the expansion process recovers energy and further increases the ETES efficiency. The now liquid, cold CO2 is evaporated through a heat exchanger, cooling the water circulation inside the heat exchanger, which can now be supplied to the consuming process. This all takes place within a completely hermetically sealed loop. For storing the thermal energy, the heat and the cold, conventionally treated water is utilized. This makes ETES all the more sustainable and environmentally friendly. For hot storage, water is heated up in the heat exchanger and transferred to one or more isolated tanks, where it can be contained short term between several hours and several days until it is used. For ice storage, CO2 is evaporated from liquid to gas by the heat exchanger. The CO2 then absorbs heat taken from a water reservoir that cools down and starts to form ice. Whenever there is a cooling demand, chilled water can be discharged from the stored ice to the consuming process. Once all the water in the cold storage tank is frozen, the charging cycle is complete. The electrothermal process not only allows the generated heat and cold to be distributed to consumers, but also offers the option of converting it back into electricity. In the discharging mode, also known as the re-electrification process, the previously stored thermal energy is converted back into electricity by reverting the CO2 loop into a heat engine cycle. The gaseous low-pressure CO2 is condensed over the same heat exchanger as in the charging cycle. The ice storage melts, the CO2 becomes fluid, and is then pressurized by a turbo pump. Next, the CO2 is heated by the water from the hot storage. Now in supercritical state, the CO2 process medium is fed into a power turbo generator, which generates electricity by expansion. At the turbine outlet, the gaseous CO2 is depressurized and returns to a low temperature. The discharging process cycle continues until the ice storage is completely melted and the thermal battery is therefore fully discharged. Now, the ETES system is ready to be recharged again. Because of the large volumes of thermal energy and the wide temperature range offered by ETES, the solution is suitable for many industrial scale applications. District heating and cooling networks, urban industrial parks, airports, hospitals, processing industries such as food and beverage production for example, data centers, desalinization of seawater, the list of applications is almost endless. ETES can basically serve any facility with a large heat demand or cold demand, or both. ETES is a uniquely versatile tool to the power market as it can be operated for grid frequency stabilization and long duration electricity storage, meaning electricity output of four hours and more. ETES is ideal for decentralized energy supply. Even a hybrid system for simultaneous heat, cold, and electricity supply is possible with ETES. Sustainable solutions like ETES help to significantly reduce CO2 emissions in heat and cold production. The demand for heat, cold, and electricity will increase. Large systems are required to meet these demands. New technology must be competitive and suitable for use by diverse industries and segments. Most of all, they must be ready to implement now in order to meet the CO2 target set. We are ready for the challenges of the future. Join us. MAN Energy Solutions, future in the making.